We are reacting to live stream fails. We have way too much information about XQC. Lots of gambling drama and just all around crap shoot of awful stuff. Let's go. Like I had to make a choice. I, I was cornered into choosing between family and Sammy. And unfortunately what happened is that I, I kind of just chose family because that's just, I don't know. So yeah, that's just kind of what happened. That's just what happened. I hate that relationships are public, to be honest. Like I would not want any of my fucking any of my personal information really out there i think that's like the one thing that i hate most about and i mean it's kind of just part of the job right like you just gotta accept it's kind of part of the job but i fucking hate it but we we have to cut the bread somehow you knew that i've always wanted when things are moving on to move on you know how i am okay i don't i don't cut it halfway i have to go all the way i don't have anything above my head all fucking day i fucking... can't do this with you anymore you are not a victim okay, here I'm, you have never not, been a victim okay, here okay. i'm done speaking okay, with okay, you you are well. not a victim. It's, it's Stop okay. victimizing okay, okay, okay. yourself. I'm sorry. I, I, this got too heavy. I'm sorry. Why would you do this on stream? I don't get it. I don't know why you'd fucking do this on stream. Even I'm really sad and that I'm really depression, but at least I need to try. But they just said he even didn't try. You, you know what? Money was even doesn't matter at the time. I just this is honestly the worst fucking part about all of this. Like, is the fact that you had some friends who really believed in you and you fucked them. Like, and I get it. Addiction is a thing. Addiction just ruins fucking people, you know? Just sad because he just, he just. I will say this. Every other fucking gambler on this platform was going to be like, it's not gambling, it's the person, which is somewhat true. There is a, a, a hint of truth in there right but when most of your audience is like fucking very impressionable children i'm really hard to say that i think that uh fucking i don't know gambling i just really don't like gambling didn't think about me he just didn't give a fuck about me i thought he was my friend <laughs> He was your friend, to be fair. If he is addicted to gambling, this is not like devaluing your friendship. It's the fact that it's gambling at I'm actually like incredibly uncomfortable. Um, and this is like super Love embarrassing, it. but I, I don't really know what else to do about about it at this point, bro. I lost 27,000. How do you loan $27,000? I don't know how much money. I, I feel like maybe I think about money just so much differently than everyone else, especially growing up very, very poor. Like I hear that like 27 grand is a lot of fucking money, right? And I'm just like, how do you give someone that much money? I would not. There is no one. If my fucking family came up to me and said, hey, Richard, can I borrow $27,000? I would tell them to fuck off. Like, I'm not even fucking kidding you. Like, that's just such a ridiculous amount to ask for. Like, I could see like $100. Okay, right? You allow now $100. They pay you back. Then you're okay. You're fine. $27,000. Jesus Christ. Giving a, a lens to uh, Slicker. Was it camera? equipment he let him borrow something and he fucking pawned it okay that makes sense then yeah that's fucked okay that makes sense and that's how you get 27 grand. you give him a piece of fucking expensive camera equipment felix if you want to go into drama let's talk about how you ditched the creator clash at the last minute to go gambling by yourself when the creator clash was for charity and they were all relying on you had to change the name and everyone that was going because you ditched to go gamble should we talk about that you know this is the problem with fucking fucking streamers i swear to god if you ever get into fucking content creation i would keep legitimate everyone at a fucking arm's leg. I would not stop drama. I feel like it, you're right. A lot of people fucking see it. You get lots of fucking views. The idea that no PR is bad PR, I get that. But like, fuck me. Fucking hell. We're truly one of a kind and love big long turrets. XQCL. What the fuck is this TikTok? Oh, Jesus Christ. God, I would be terrified to ever show my TikTok on here. Fucking hell. You know how many fucking hot alternative goth women I have in my fucking TikTok? Let me just tell you. A lot. A fucking lot. My TikTok is not safe for work. There's no way in fuck's name. I can admit it. I'm okay with that. What can I say? You know exactly. And you, you are. Know you how I know exactly with you. how you are. Stop. Stop right now. 
Okay. Why, I just don't get why they're doing this on fucking stream like at all. Okay. Oh, I felt bad. Sorry. Okay. I, 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 no. I, 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 oh, stop. Stop. Oh, stop. The stop. point not, wasn't stop, to blindside hero, you. Stop villainizing me in front of your community. Stop. 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 So I can't Please talk to stop. No, just shut the fuck up and listen. I could hear like. I don't even know what's going on. Fucking words of wisdom. Holy shit. And that, you lovely bastards, has been live stream fails. It's a fucking shit show today. But that's just how it is, you know. If you're watching this on YouTube, please make sure to subscribe down below and also make sure to join the fucking Discord where we have literally no drama in our life, you know. Fucking hell. Fucking hell.